Hello everyone, I'm Black Marvin, and today I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to the Blade Runner style synth inside Vital. As always, the preset is available on Patreon. Link is in the description. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. So we're inside Vital, and if we investigate a bit on how the Blade Runner theme and most of the Blade Runner soundtrack was composed, it was composed using a Yamaha CS80 which is uh, a analog synthesizer released in the year 1977. And well, if we want to reproduce some of the sounds there, we will need something uh, different than the initial waveform, the, just the, the, the saw wave here. All right, so I managed to get a, well, it's, it's not a CS80 pure sample, but I used a plugin that um, emulates that sound. It, it, it's really supposed to be recreating the sounds of the CS80. Um, so we're gonna use that as the base for our sound. All right, it sounds like this, some saw wave-ish from that synth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it and uh, drop it inside Vital. And I'm gonna use the pitch slice algorithm. And it sounds like this. Right now, the wavetable is not necessarily optimized for uh, playing around. You know, it's not it's not going to be a wavetable that we're going to sweep all around too much in, in Vital. And that's not the point of this video. So what I'm going to do, and it's going to be, it's perfect for the use I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to keep it like this. And because we already have now that waveform that sounds uh, like a saw wavetable, but it has different character to it and we can compare to the initial wavetable that on oscillator 2 so it sounds similar and what um, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, navigate through the wavetable and get a, a to a point where it sounds sawish saw but it's uh, it's a bit smoother Yep, it's that, that unique shape. So I'm going to stick with that here for oscillator 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save that wavetable because I want to use it again. I'm going to go inside the editor here. And I'm going to save as wavetable. It's going to be CS80. Now I'm going to open up the oscillator 2 and I'm going to open up the CS80 wavetable. And I'm going to set it up in a different position to have a complementary sound. So you can hear the difference. This one is closer to the saw timber and this one is, is softer. But the two together it sounds good. And now it's time to add some unison. We're going to add some release. And of course, we're going to put a filter on it. I'm just going to do the, the basic setup and then we, we can see how we can enhance the sound and make it more, you know, analog and more legendary. Um gonna set up the filter that is um, I'm looking for a, a creamy filter uh, something that sounds analog well there's analog here but uh let me tell you that I like um the dirty algorithm is cool and the latter one too gonna go with ladder And I'm going to put a, an envelope on the filter. I'm dragging the envelope to on the cutoff here. And I want a smooth attack. 
that the amount of modulation is way too much. I just want that movement a bit. That is really cool, but I could add a third layer that is going to be an octave uh, below. That sounds really analogish. I'm just going to move through the wavetable a bit so it's not exactly like the second one. And I'm going to give it a unison too. I decided to use the filter cutoff more open. Now to give the synth a bit more um, organic feel and more uh, CS80 feel, I'm gonna put some vibrato and it, it, it can be really easy. We're gonna uh, get the LFO one and put it on the fine tune for each oscillator. And actually on the, I'm gonna use the random on the third oscillator. So it's it's not exactly the same uh, movement as the others. I'm gonna go inside the matrix and make sure these are bipolar. And this is going to be way too much. So I'm gonna remove, well, not remove, but I'm gonna just give it just a bit of movement and I'm gonna uh, make this faster. It's just enough that we notice that it adds some character but it doesn't feel like a mad psychedelic circus. And same thing on the random. The random, I put it on 1 8 and it's gonna add some unpredictability and a more organic feel. And what's really cool, uh, we can set up a macro because that, that will be the, uh, the, the smallest amount of uh, drift. It's called, uh, th that feeling, it's, it's either uh, vibrato or it can be called drift too. So I'm gonna set up a macro to control that. Um, let's say um, my macro two, I'm gonna put right here on LFO one, oscillator two tune, oscillator one tune, and the random one tune. Well, the one for oscillator three. And now I have control over the drift. I could also have set up the mod wheel to do that, but I like to have it as a micro control. Now we need to have some noise going on, uh, just to, to add a bit of uh, dirt and, well, dirt is a bit aggressive, but to add just a bit of that no noisy texture of the analog synths. We could use uh, some white or brown noise from Vital, but what I did is I actually went and get a some a noise from an analog synth, and it's available in the Ghost Act Vital Essential Noise. So you have, uh, well, gonna use this one. And if we solo it, it sounds like this. There's a little de decay over time, but it's, it's still long and it's gonna be a good use. I'm gonna make sure this one is routed to filter one. Instead of eye passing it, I, I'm not necessarily going to eye pass it, but uh, I'm going to raise the pitch so it, it is going to interfere less with uh, the sound, but it's still going, going to give us that noisy texture. And now with the rest. Now I'm going to go on the uh, amp envelope and I'm going to gives this a longer attack. Great. Now we're all set with the filter. I might add just a bit of resonance. 
that's perfect for now. Now I'm going to go in the effects section. First thing first, I'm going to get a reverb because that's, that's one thing you can be sure you want. Going to low cut some of the, the low frequencies, but I, I want a lot of high frequencies. Let's see uh, how the multiband compressor can be used. Yeah, it sounds good with a bit more release. And I just want to say, like, the multiband compressor in Vital sounds really good. Makes makes uh, usually the sounds a bit thicker. Um, sometimes can be a bit choke choky to the sound, but you can if if that happens. You feel that is happening, you can put a bit more of the upper threshold for the high frequencies. Now, distortion. Uh, I'm gonna put a bit of soft clip and see how it goes, but to, for this sound, I don't think we're gonna need a lot of distortion because not, that's not. We, we can maybe try to beef it up with a soft clip, but that's not really. Where uh, where our our attention should go. We don't want that. Next one in uh, not the particular order, but usually that's that's the that's my sweet spots for for effect. I'm gonna go with the EQ and I'm gonna notch try to notch some resonant frequencies. This one here, those are a bit screamy, so I'm gonna rem yeah. remove some of it. Maybe even more. We're gonna add some delay. And one thing you, you, you're gonna notice is uh and it does the same thing in serum and usually everywhere actually it's a phenomenon when you put um delay before a compressor the the delayed signal is going to be compressed so uh we can hear a difference if we put the delay before the compressor really uh squashes up the the delay uh, same thing with the reverb i don't know if we're going to keep the reverb uh before but for sure, the delay, I'm okay with that. I like, I like uh, how it sounds. Hmm, let me hear that again, but I think I'm going to keep it like this. Great, and I think I might choke the sound a bit more. And I'm going to set up the macro one to control the cutoff. Actually, I'm hearing something I don't like, and it's coming from that analog white noise. There's uh, too much low information. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to use the analog white noise brute high pass. Wow, even this one has some low information, and I don't like it. And it's a good example of uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up in a different way. Something that you can, you can do when you have some noise and you want to filter them inside Vital. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route it to uh, filter two, and I'm gonna high pass it. Now we have that signal instead of this signal. But this means we're going to have to blend it differently. Great. 
Great, and what we can do is uh, I'm, I can set up a macro on the noise level. So if at some point I want to quickly access the noise level and just give more of that texture, I have access here. And just to finalize that, we're going to engage that uh, high pass mode instead of shelf mode. And I'm going to remove all the low frequency signal here. And just to finalize that low frequency cleaning, I'm going to engage that high pass mode here instead of the shelf. And I'm going to remove some of the low frequencies. Don't forget to add some chorus. And I usually, every time in chorus, I'm going to go click here on the visual feedback and I'm going to make sure I'm removing some of the, some of the low frequencies again. But this is, this is uh, like EQing the output of the chorus. I am not going to use the filter for that one. And let's see with the flanger and the phaser if we can add just a bit of m subtle movement. Nothing too fancy here, just a bit of movement from the flanger in the phaser because we're not shaping the sound with the phaser and the flanger in, in that context. We're just adding a bit more richness and movement. And now let's put our preset to the test. Let's see if we were able to capture that Blade Runner feel. To me, I think it passes the test and it ends up uh, being a nice synth slash pad for a trance or synth wave and can be used anywhere. Let me know if you think I did a good job or if you yourself would have done it differently. But in any case, that's my Blade Runner style synth. So that's it. If you like Blade Runner, analog synthesizer, Vital, well, you're an amazing person. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. There's more content concerning Vital coming up. Also, always about emulating the sounds of analog synthesizer and some cutting edge sound design tricks. Until then, I will see you in another video. Cheers.